Yes, sir. Yes, confirmed. Holy crap! They really did it. The Russians launched the rocket into space before we did. Can this missile be armed with an atomic warhead? No, sir, not yet. But as you can see, the Russians are advancing at a fast speed. How did they beat us? Good question. I've asked our Russian expert to come and explain why. Gentlemen, let's come to this. Now, I won't take up much of your time. This is what the Soviets think of the American education system. And you know something? They're not far from the truth. The Russians have been pursuing scientific studies in their high school for a long time. We, however, have left gaps in both our technological advances and in the military industry complex. They are now training three times as many scientists as we are, gentlemen. But don't we have the greatest universities and the best scientists in the world? True. We do have the best universities. But we have some of the poorest high schools. But Mr. Secretary, what I'm hearing is completely unbelievable. So what do you suggest we do? Gentlemen, we need to establish scientific studies in our high schools, and we need to do it as soon as possible. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, sir. We're working on it now, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The President wants us to finish this report as soon as possible. But I think we're going to have to make some drastic changes. Come on, gentlemen. Let's finish this report. The Soviet Union now has in the combined category, category of scientists and engineers, a greater number than the United States. My scientific advisors place this problem above all other immediate tasks of producing missiles, of developing new techniques in the armed services. We need science.